Emotionless greeting. Frothing at the pants to bring you good news about a vaccine. Declaring Britain is leading the charge, winning the battle, and other war slogans designed to appeal to Daily Mail readers. Building up for soundbite. Deep breath. Help is on its way. Confirming shipment of 800,000 vaccines from Pfizer factory in Belgium to be distributed immediately. After 45 days in a lorry park in Kent. Criticising those who make unhelpful statements that fly in the face of facts. Anti-vaxxers, conspiracy theorists, Michael Gove. Uh, delighted to confirm that the Health Secretary is to have live vaccination on Good Morning Britain. Therefore, agreeing to Piers Morgan's request to have a little prick on the show. Proclaiming end of national lockdown. Smarmy look. Using the joke that lockdown has ended in tears, as if I'm the only person to think of it. Now banning anyone else from using it. Grateful that restrictions have been eased, in time for us all to be snowed in. Declaring that our exemplary handling of the pandemic and economy means Christmas shopping is now possible. In the three remaining high street shops. Uh, taking question from tiresome journalist. Asking if the minister can confirm whether a scotch egg is indeed a scotch egg. And if scotch egg, scotch egg, then putting it to him that scotch egg. Scotch egg? Scotch egg. Scotch egg. Clearing up confusion over classic English dish of scotch egg. Confirming that one is a substantial meal, two is a starter, and three is serious constipation. Explaining that pubs in the north are hotspots for COVID transmission. Pubs in the south are cleaner and have a better class of people. Superior face. Assuring so-called wet pubs of a £1,000 rescue payment. Assuming that will cover the annual salaries of 12 northern people. Finally, uh, cheering up the nation by celebrating unveiling of Grantham Margaret Statue Thatchew. Statue Thatcher, Thatcher Statue, representing a significant erection for Conservatives. Substantial nod, suggestive thank you.